Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Weston at the Dickinson Park Zoo. Hello. Yes. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So who do we have back here? So we have our family of ring-tailed lemurs back here. We have mom, dad, and two babies. One baby from last year and then a the little baby from this year. And uh, you guys have fed them, so they're all bouncing around. They're all yeah. happy. Going a little crazy right now, um, <laughs> eager for the food. So speaking of food, what do they eat in the wild? Yeah, so they're fruitivores, so they're eating mostly fruits. Um, they will eat shoots and stuff like that, um, grasses, leaves, that sort of thing, but mostly fruits. And what do they eat here? So here, we try and replicate that. They get fruits and veggies every single day, and they also get um, a fully complete primate biscuit. So where can you find these ringtail lemurs in the wild? So these guys are from Madagascar, like all lemurs, um, the southern portion of them. And what kind of environment is there in Madagascar? Uh, so where they live at, it's foresty. Um, they live between 15 to 30 individuals in the wild, um, all hopping around in the trees, on the ground, that sort of thing. So are there any predators that would try to eat a lemur on Madagascar? Yeah, so the main threat to lemurs are humans. Um, so human coming into their space, um, picking up their habitat. So that's their main threat um, on the island of Madagascar. So are they endangered? Yes, they are endangered. And are these lemurs part of an SSP program? Yep, so these are all, the mom and the dad are part of the SSP, um, Species Survival Program. So it's just ensuring the genetic diversity um, for these guys for the future. Um, so we've had two births, like I said, in the last year. So that's that's really helping out um, the genetics wise. So this is a uh, brief rundown about how the SSP program works is um, there's all these, it's a, I think it's a list somewhere. Mm -hmm. So and each the, species uh, has each species has a list, and they kind of identify which, um, like mom and dad, would be best, and for genetic diversity mm -hmm. among the species for different zoos and everything. Exactly. So, so what special adaptations do these lemurs have for surviving in their forest and habitat? Mm -hmm. So the way that they move around, the locomotion that they use, they hop around, so they can go from tree to tree, and they can go on the ground, and they also hop. So they're not walking around um, on the ground a whole bunch or a fast movement with a hop. They also have opposable thumbs that lets them grab the fruits and veggies and eat it like that. And longer tails um, help with balance a little bit. Too. So what kind of enrichment do you provide these lemurs? Yeah, so we give them enrichment every day. Obviously it's the morning, they don't have it out yet. Um, but we want to keep them mentally and physically stimulated. So we give them puzzle feeders, we give them things hanging from the trees where they have to climb. So anything like that, that just keeps them um, working, you know. My last question to you is, what is your favorite thing about the ring tailed lemur? Oh, definitely their activity level. They're always moving around the exhibit, always playing with each other. Um, besides their awesome looks, that's definitely my favorite thing about them. And at least the uh, newest baby is super cute. Oh yeah, for sure. She's back there somewhere, real small, super cute. And I got some footage of her on my phone. Um, she was bouncing on the ladder uh -huh. and chilling out right here oh, with her mom. Yep, move around a lot, so it's real fun. Well, thank you so much for telling yes. us about the ring tailed yes, lemur. definitely. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and also check out my Instagram, at Cole Shirk. As always, I'll see you next week.